plus point that uh, recruiters see that you've been a team and especially if you've uh, gone to competitions where you've won you know the gold or the silver or achieved a position they know that you've been under high pressure situations where you you were able to perform in them For the past year at Inside IIM, we have been conducting one-on-one -on -one career coaching sessions as counsel, short domain-specific courses as master classes, and university-affiliated certificate programs. Now we are extremely excited to announce that we have a new home for all these highly rated programs in altuni.in. So if you are looking to earn a high salary, get a promotion, switch jobs, click on the link in the description or just visit altuni.in. Thank you. Enjoy the video and. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update. Cheers. I had no ambition to like join an IIT, and I was fairly surprised after I got my admission. So I I botched my J main. I got a 19k rank, and that is not uh, where I wanted to go with a 19k rank. So I was hoping to get a good admission with advance. Like that was my last resort. So I ended up getting uh, an under 10k rank. and that secured my admission in the textile sciences of IIT delhi so i actually had sorted my preferences as bombay delhi and then there's madras kanpur and stuff so i i was really specific that i wanted to go to one of the big cities iit delhi has people from all over india and um, it's actually a really small campus it's like one of the smallest campus of all iits and people really lived in very cramped spaces and that basically makes all the students know each other pretty well like we live in one building everyone knows each other we sit super close when we're having food and all of us go to the same building to have our classes and also the common areas so like there's like two or three grounds and everyone meets there there is not like a long lonely road for people to walk by so that's one thing different about um, our campus and um, and the culture so as a whole it's very um there's a lot of delhi flavor in, in our campus i actually played basketball from fifth grade so i joined the iit delhi team basketball team so like currently if we were to go back to campus right now i would be their vice captain and other than that i'm also a journalist at the student publication board so like we write our bi-monthly newsletter and uh, um we maintain the social media for the publishing house of our college for sports if you are part of a team that is just one really big plus point that our recruiters see that you've been a team and especially if you've uh, gone to competitions where you've won you know the gold or the silver or achieved a position they know that you've been under high pressure situations where you you were able to perform in them Uh, you are able to if you are in um, a captain or a vice captain role you were able to uh, delegate responsibilities in your team make a game plan and uh, just um, you have a general team spirit so that's the benefit of go, uh, of being in a sports team in your college for the publication part so i actually joined because i really wanted to you know let my creative creativity flow through that and uh, i found that uh, that position has given me so many um such a, lo a lot of positive points with a lot of people because i can make content for you so if i'm even if i'm working for isb then uh, if they want to make a presentation or something then i can help them with that um and it's just a generally a accredited um position of responsibility that you're a journalist and people trust you with words they allow you to speak at uh, events and so that's uh, that's really helpful So uh, this this program, uh, IIT Delhi just introduced it for its undergraduates to um, encourage for second, third year people to uh, do some research projects. So it's only for IIT Delhi students. And in my first year, I actually wanted to explore. So uh, me and my two friends, we uh, just uh, emailed a couple of professors in our college, and um, so we ended up having a project with uh, the a professor in our chemistry department. 
and we worked on it for about one to two months in the summer break. So we were basically conducting research around quantum dots. The first thing that we had to do was actually uh, read a lot of papers on the topic. So um, it was about quantum chemistry. So we read quite a few papers on how quantum dots were made and about the author and the procedure. <clears throat> and then uh, we basically had to uh, like visualize, uh, we basically had to manufacture a process to make them. So we, we basically brainstormed on the, the ideas for that and we ended up making a small model. A lot of my seniors actually did projects with professors in IIM and they had, a, they had really cool projects. Um, so they, uh, they told me that the professors in these colleges, they usually want interns that can assist them with coding tasks or data analytic tasks, which makes it easier for you to go and work for them and learn and basically explore this whole uh, the projects in management or the projects in economics or finance that um, I am professors have. So what he wanted me to do is study uh, ethics and leadership content in political leaders. So what I did was that I gathered a lot of tweets uh, for four months from like major political leaders and I was mining for how ethical their content and, and how 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 much of a leadership content they are delivering it. And my aim was to basically find out, are they being more ethical uh, since COVID? Are they being more, uh, are they giving more leadership tweets? Um, so how I did that was that I, I used Python and I used some of the natural language processing libraries, NLT and Spacey. And I tried to make a model that judged uh, based on words that they've used in their tweets. Uh, if their tweets are ethical and if they are uh, high in leadership. So uh, I work under uh, a professor who is a public, uh, who works in public policy. So what he needs to formulate uh, for his research, he needs data and this data is available in very random formats and they really need coders to clean it. And that's what I basically do. Um, but I also help with other tasks like scraping information from government websites, making models, making indices. Like recently, we actually finished making indices uh, to like keep track of the Monday prices during COVID. So that kind of manipulation of data is usually what's involved in my work. So I just emailed. So basically, uh, I made a cover letter that I was interested in, you know, economics and policy making. And these are my skills. I know how to use Python properly and I know Java and I'm, um, I'm equipped with, you know, data analysis so I can assist you. And I sent these mails to a lot of professors who I think um, were in that working in that domain. So that's how um, I reached my professor and then he reached out to me for this project. Uh, one thing is for sure, if you're, uh, if you're a school student or if you're a college student, I would say to embrace technology and by that I basically mean that learn some coding it's always uh, beneficial it gives you a perspective also like um, so definitely do that I started very late but I'm very grateful to know that if you're a school student research your colleges properly you need to look up what course you're doing and talk to people who are actually doing it to look up the career options I'm very glad I chose engineering I didn't know that these paths will be open to me but I'm very glad because now a lot of things are clear to me. I can go into a lot of directions.